I was reading a book on forgiveness. <laughs> and they had a line in there that says, forgive and grow. I had to let that luggage go. You see, your mind is, is, you know, when you go into a service station to get gas, you don't go in there and just start pumping. When you push the lever up, it clears the previous bill. By the same token, if you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I couldn't move. I couldn't think about what am I going to do? To get out of this situation because I was so concerned about what happened and what he did to me and how bad it was. I was so stuck in that I couldn't even focus on what I should have done. Feeling sorry for myself and angry and none of that was taking me anywhere. So pretty soon I, I learned through effort, made a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. I had to let it go. I had to forgive it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? Amen. What are you going to do now, Les? Huh? How long are you going to tell everybody at the bus stop and anybody who would stand and listen to you? <laughs> How long are you going to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over again? How many times do we have to hear that? Don't go around telling people your, what your story is. Everybody has a story. 80% don't care and 20% glad it's you. <laughs> They say, I'm glad that didn't happen to me. <laughs> Sometimes you think you got some problems. You hear somebody else's problem, and, the, and if that problem is real bad, it makes you feel good. <laughs> Am I right? All right. 